Let's go to YouTube. It's Aquarius Save on ABB. Oh God! It's Aquarius the Fire and Prophecy. See, I'm in. I'm gonna have a hard time <laughs> trying to, you know, get that name out my head because I've been using it so fucking much. But um, I'm back with another video. I'm back with another vlog. Um, and this time, um, I'm gonna be uh. I'm going to be talking about the New York Giants 2020 opponents. Now, obviously, um, you know, I'm not the type to just, you know, go in and, you know, say, oh, this is a win because we don't know the order yet. Uh, so I didn't really do week one through week two through, you know what I'm saying? Because the seedings haven't really, you know, like, you know, they haven't really said, okay, this is who we're going to face week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, week seven, and so on and so forth. Uh, that's if the NFL even, you know, uh, continues, you know, through this process. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll jot down, you know, the teams that they are going to face this up and coming season. Uh, you know, I did not really put the preseason games, you know, because I don't watch preseason like that. So, in no particular order, like I said, uh, these are the New York Giants 2020 opponents. Okay, so... In no particular order, like I said again, uh, you got the Ravens, Bengals, Browns, Steelers, 49ers, Seahawks, Bears, Redskins, Cowboys, Eagles. Eagles, Cowboys, Redskins, because obviously we faced them twice. You know, uh, Cardinals, Bucks, and the Rams. Now... By each metric, sex, as you can see, I uh, wrote down in, in red pen, uh, you know, because each team is going to be different. Uh, you know, uh, the last time we faced the Ravens, uh, you know, God, I can't remember the last time we faced the Ravens. Uh, the last time we faced the Ravens, I think, was the 04 season, 2004 season, and oh. 2 season, I believe, in the Super Bowl, uh, when we got blown out. So that's the, I mean, obviously, other than that, that's the only two last, that's the only two last meetings that we, um, that we had against the Ravens. Um, you know, obviously, we're gonna be going back into Lamar Jackson. Um, you know, so. Because they're going to have new weapons, they're going to have new players, and we're going to have new players. So it's more of a retool for both of our team. Uh, you know, we're not going to, you know, I mean, the only time you, you'll you see familiar faces if they sign more than a one-year deal, you know. So, I think we're gonna lose to the rave. Uh, I think we're gonna lose to the to the um, Ravens. Um, on to the next, the Bengals. Again, we don't know what Andy Dalton. What they're gonna do with Andy Dalton? Um, you know their defense. I mean, I don't know what their defense is gonna look like because they switch schemes so much. And not only them, all, you know, 32 teams do it. So, uh, it's going to be hard. But, you know, no team is, you can never take no team lightly, you know. Um, you know, the Bengals is that type of team that could just sneak up on you. You think that, you know, you should automatically win this game. I mean, but I give the Giants a second loss. Uh, and I put the record right here. So now they're so now they're zero and two. They start their season off zero and two. Uh, 
They start their season off 0-2. So next is the Cleveland Browns. And I believe this is where we get our first win. Uh, I think the Cleveland Browns are still searching. Uh, uh, whether they're whether or not they uh whether uh, whether they're not whether or not they keep Odell Beckham Jr. You know, cause uh, cause I hear a lot of trade rumors that you know Odell they like they trying to ship Odell for you know compensatory for like draft picks or players and stuff like that. So they're just trying to find a good team for him to land, or his agent is trying to find a team that. You know, he can land, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I always say that Odell is either two teams he wants to go to. He either wants to go to the Saints, back to his hometown, or he wants to go with the L.A. Rams, you know? So, uh, or, or there's a possibility that he could go to the Buccaneers, assuming that Tom Brady's down there. You know, like, Odell in his mind can say, oh, crap, I can, you know, like, we can re re rejuvenate uh, Randy Moss and, and, on, and, you know, in TB12 connection again. You know, because obviously there's rumors that, you know, Antonio, the Bucs are not in, the Bucs was interested in Tony Brown, but then again, they said that they wasn't really interested in him. So, um, you know, Odell is another target that they can, you know, line up, you know, across side from Evans. Uh, and then plus you got Deshaun Jackson. If he decides to, you know, resign, which I think he will, uh, you got uh, a tight end in O.J. Howard. Um, and then you got a uh, you got a good running back in Sims, I believe, and in Barber. So they might have a very good high powered offense if those predictions come through and you know their defense their defense was good last year but you know I think defenses can get even better you know because if you're bad if you're good one year you can't be bad the next you know what I'm saying you can only go up you know so I think their defense would tremendously approve um and then they'll probably be you know a 12 I can see them winning 10 games, you know, um, I could see them either going 10 and 6 or 9 and 7, nothing too crazy, uh, so, yeah, but still, it's the Browns, obviously, that's a W, okay, now we go to Pittsburgh Steelers, now, you, you know, uh, Big Ben is supposed to return, um, after that injury that he uh that he suffered um last year so uh big ben you know first time not first time but obviously you know when is the last time we faced the steelers uh you know so this might be his last game too you know, like you never know you know uh but i'll give the giants um I'll give the Giants a W here. Uh, I think the Steelers are just, you know, all over the place, just like the Browns. Um, so yeah, um, I see this. I see the Giants winning this game. Um, I'm not really gonna give scores. I'm just gonna say live either wins or losses, and you know, pick who I want the Giants to lose to or win against. So. Um, so next we go down the bay and we face the 49ers. Now the last time we faced the 49ers, we was in the divisional championship. Uh, I think we beat them in the regular season that year. Uh, and we obviously, or I think that was the year before, we, we beat them at home. And we beat them at home in the, in the playoffs to advance in the Super Bowl. So, and then obviously the Giants and the 49ers have a great history between the two franchises. So, uh, I think we're going to probably lose this game, assuming that, you know, they're, you know, if, you know, because I'm not going to say, okay, we lost, you know, like, I'm just going to, you know, say why we lost or why we won this game, you know what I'm saying? Like, most people just, you know, make the list and say, 
Oh, this is a loss. This is a win. 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 But like I say, you know, you can't, you can never take no team lightly. You know, like I can see us losing the first two games, you know, because every single year we faced, we, we, we wind up facing the Cowboys week one. They might be different. You know, we might not even face the Cowboys week one. We might face, we might face the Ravens. Ravens week one, so, um, but the reason why, obviously, their defense is just too much, uh, Nick Bosa and, and the crew, uh, they got a pretty good running game, they got a pretty good quarterback, uh, they got a pretty good receiving core, uh, they keep that intact with Debo and Samuel, you know what I'm saying, which, that that like, that last play in the Super Bowl, that last play where he threw it, that could have been a game-winning touchdown right there. But he threw it to Samuel. Out of all... Like, what, were, what was Debo at that play? That ball should have been to Debo. That ball should have been thrown to Debo because he's he, obviously he was the most fastest and he had the most outstanding game that that game. Uh, so I'm, I'm dumbfounded that that play, that last play in the end zone... Well, not literally last play, but obviously that last, you know, that last few seconds, that ball should have been to Debo, you know. But obviously, you know, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo overthrew that ball. Um, so, but then again, that ball should have been going to Debo because he, 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 he killed it in that game. But, you know, I mean, they'll be back. They'll be back. They'll be back. Uh, hopefully, they'll learn from their mistakes and, you know, they'll be back. But who knows? It might be the Buccaneers. <laughs> it might be the Buccaneers and the 49ers in the Super Bowl. You know, because I, I don't think the Chiefs are going to repeat. Nah. I think it was just... Um, I think it was just a one thing. I think it was just a one thing deal. I think it was just a one-time deal, so um, I don't think they're going to be back. Um, so, yeah, um, moving on, Seattle Seahawks. Uh, with Russell Wilson, you can never count him out, you know. Uh, he's put a lot of tricks out of his bags over the years, so I wouldn't really doubt um him now the defense defensively uh you know they I think last year they gave up the most yards through the air you know their defense was just abysmal um so i think we i think we can win against the um the Seahawks cuz i think we can move the ball with Saquon Barkley and you know if if Ingram and Shepard can stay healthy for the for the CBU, for the if he if 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 they both can stay healthy for the future, then yeah. But if not, then you know. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if we trade one of them, two of them, or one of them. I wouldn't really be shocked. You know, um, the Bears obviously. Um, you know, you you already know the history between the Bears and the Giants. Um, um I think um mm, we'll be probably seeing Nick Foles if you know Mitchell Mitchell um uh, Mitchell Trubisky messes up or he. He's not playing up to par, but then again, you know, I mean, it's Nick Foles, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he's really nobody to sniff at, but at the same time, you can't be, you know, you can't be too cautious about him. Um, So, I think the Giants would, I think the Giants are going to win, because like I said, uh, if we can just control the clock, you know, manage the game, we'll come out with a W. So, 
so far we got one, two, three, one, two, three. So, all right. So right now we are three and three. I forgot to buy too. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So the buy is gonna be between the Cowboys and the uh, the Redskins and the Eagles. Just make a little, little mark right there. Alright, so for the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So for the first eight games we've played so far, we've gone three and three. So so the Redskins. Now again another divisional opponent. Um you know whoever is at the quarterback position, whether it's Haskins or Tua, um you know again it depends on what the Giants on uh, it depends on what the 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 it depends on what the, the the Redskins do uh with either both of those quarterbacks cuz you know you don't I mean that's the thing you don't you never want to go into a season with competition at that position you know what I'm saying because if Haskins fuck up or if Haskins messes up excuse me for my language I can't curse in here but if Haskins messes up then two was probably going to see some playing time you know, and if Tua messes up, because obviously he's a rookie, you can't go back to Haskins. You just gonna have to ride the boat with Tua and make sure you know, like he learns. You know, like ha like you can't have two bad quarterbacks helping each other out. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I think they're gonna probably draft Tua because they need a quarterback unless they can, you know, get a lot. From Haskins, because we've seen Ron Rivera do it to Cam Newton. You know, when Cam Newton first came. I don't even think Ron Rivera was there when Cam Newton was a rookie. I may be wrong. I might be right. But, you know, he got the best out of Cam Newton that one year when he went 15-1. and one. So, um, if, if, if any quarterback can do it, I think Ron Rivera has the task to. Uh, you know, I think he can turn Haskins around and they may not even have to draft Tua. You know, they could draft Chase Young and help out that defense. And that defense can be top 10, top 5. You know, I mean, they already got here again and they already got Monte Sweat. So, I mean, their defense is looking pretty good. You know, their front four obviously is looking pretty good. I'm not really can, I'm not really sure about their secondary. But I know their front four could be scary as hell uh, if they draft Chase Young. But obviously we all know the Redskins and we all know the history of, uh, you know, grabbing quarterbacks. You know, they uh, like their quarterback habit. I mean, uh, their quarterback addiction is, is real. So, but like I said, if they can... If they can find a way to turn Haskins around, because obviously he did not have a good rookie year, but you know we'll see in year two if they can turn that around. If he could turn him around, then there's no need to draft Tua. But we don't know, you know what I'm saying? But I guess I think the Redskins is gonna draft Tua just in case he doesn't turn out to be what they wanted him to be. They can. Put Tua in, and you know who knows. You know he might Tua might catch lightning in the bottle, but uh, I see us winning this game. Uh, I don't know if this game is at home. I think this game is away. Uh, so we are four and three. We are four and three heading into the bye. Now, obviously, the the, the Giants are really good after the bye, so. Now we get into the later part of the schedule. So now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight games. So 
Right now, we face the Cowboys. Probably this is going to be at home. Uh, no, actually, this is probably going to be away. Uh, so, this is going to be the L. Uh, the Cowboys are just too much right now. With Zeke, Cooper, uh, with, with Dak, you know, probably getting his deal done anytime this summer or whenever. Uh, I think the I, I think the I think the Cowboys offense and defense is just gonna be too much for the Giants. I think uh, you know, like, cause when you face a team so much, you already know, you know, like, like what they're gonna do. You know, like the Giants have no weapons on a off uh, on a on offensive end instead of Saquon Barkley, so they're gonna do. They're basically going to run him into the ground. You know what I'm saying? They're going to run him to the ground because they don't have no receivers. They don't have a number one receiver. They had an Odell back. They had a receiver out of Odell, but obviously he, you know, wasn't the, he wasn't up to the task. So, you know, they're going to have to find a whole bunch of receivers. And I wouldn't be shocked if the Giants have the most receivers in any of the, you know, team in the NFL because uh, they're going to need, like, Chase, I'm mean, not Chase Young, Daniel Jones is going to need a lot of help. Uh, and, and plus they're going to need, the Giants are going to need a second back to complement Barkley. You know, just like they had Shane Vereen and Jennings and they had, you know what I'm saying? Like, and they had Andre Williams. Andre Williams. So... Um, you know, like if they can find backs like that, then they'll be fine. But you know, I don't think Goldman and Allen is 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 it. You know, uh, and, and I wouldn't be shocked if Allen is released and Goldman is released. Um, uh, yeah. So and then again, you know, obviously Cowboys lost, so that's four and four. Uh, again, the Eagles is gonna be at home. Uh, I think we can sneak a win from the Eagles. I think we can beat the Eagles at home. Uh, we have done it. We have done it in years past. So I wouldn't be shocked if the Eagles lose at home. Um, but again, the Eagles is always our thorn in our side. We can never, you know, quite get a grasp on them when they need to, when we need to. So. Um, yeah, I think they I think the I think the Eagles uh is probably gonna lose this game. And then we face the Eagles at home, and I think we'll probably lose there. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So right now we are five and four. Um as you can see, I wrote down the list. The record is right there. And, you know, the, the teams and the wins and losses is right there. Yeah, so. Um, and then we face the Cowboys at home. And uh, I think we'll probably do, I think we'll do a lot of, I think there's going to be a lot of splits, uh, you know, with the Giants. I, I don't think, I don't think no team is going to sweep any, I don't think no team is going to sweep the Giants, but I think there's going to be a lot of splits. So, uh, the, I, I, I can see the Cowboys losing, the, yeah, I can see the Giants winning this game. Uh, on the road, even though the Giants never do good on the road, you know, uh, they never do good at home, I should say. Uh, I think they're probably better on the road, but uh, I can see us winning this game at home. Um, simply the fact that, you know, you know, the NFC, the NFC East beat up on each other, you know. They beat up on each other, and, uh, you know, that's the result. You know, you can never have a lead. You can never have a, a, a lead in the NFC East. You know, it's always going to come down to Week 17. Now Week 17, well, 16 now, but 
And, you know, it's always going to come down to well, week 17 to determine who wins the, you know, NFC East title. So I can see the, I can see the Eagle, I can see the Giants winning this game. Okay. And then uh, we move on to the Redskins, and this will be our final uh, NFC East meeting. Uh, against the Eagles, I mean against the Redskins, so I can see us losing to them. Because uh, remember, we won against them on the road, and then obviously they came here and beat us at home. So uh, I can see us winning. Um, I can see us winning um, this game, a uh, little revenge game, you know. Uh, probably they. I mean, the Giants will probably score like 45 to 17 on them on the first. And then the Redskins might probably come into our building and score, you know, 34 to 35 to 14 or some crazy number like that. So, you know, I can see us winning. And, yeah, so now we got our final three games. We got the Cardinals, Bucks, and then we finish the season against the Rams. Uh, the Cardinals, uh, I can see us winning them. But, you know, this game is a toss-up right now, so uh, I don't really know, you know. Like, the Cardinals can be that sneaky team that nobody, you know, notices. I mean, obviously, they're not going to make the playoffs. They'll probably go, they'll probably go 3-13 and again. Or, I don't know what their record was last year, but they'll probably go 3-13 and again. Um, so, yeah, um... I think they're probably not ready, even though they were required of uh, Hopkins and and um, what's the quarterback? Uh, what's the quarterback for the for the for the uh, Cardinals? Uh, Y'all let me know, but uh, I can see that I can see us beating the Cardinals. Um. So yeah. Uh. So that. Uh. Let me see. That's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is eight wins and one, two, three, four, five, six. So we are eight and six. So now we got two teams remaining. We got the Bucks and we got the Rams, which is not going to be even pretty. Uh, the Bucks again with that great defense, and if my prophecy comes true with the Bucks getting Odell Beckham Jr. lined up with Mike Evans, with Howard. They already got two good backs and a great defense, plus Tom Brady. Yeah, so, um, I, again, I can see us losing to the Bucks uh, just because of Tom Brady and that defense. Uh, you know, if you don't believe me, look... look um, Look up the the Bucks 2019 defensive highlights. Like they were all over quarterbacks, and they had no remorse for nobody. So um, yeah, so I can lose. I can see us losing to the. I can see us losing to the Bucks, um, and then the Rams. I can see us winning against the Rams. Uh, with not uh, without Todd Gurley. Uh, you know, that was their engine. Um, you know, um, Todd, I believe. T not Todd. Um, Jared Goff is going to have to fling it a lot, you know, and I don't think he has the receivers to, 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 uh, to do that. So, uh, you know, you know, I think if we, if we do lose, that's because, you know, uh, even though the, the Rams struggle offensively, defensively, they're still there. You know, they got, uh, obviously, they got to, to leave, to, uh, to, ah, to leave. Uh, you know, obviously, they got Ramsey, uh, and then they got uh, uh, Aaron Donald. So, their defense is still intact. So even if we do if we do lose, it's probably gonna be because our it's probably gonna be because it's probably going to be because of the Rams defense against our offense. Cause I don't think Barkley can run on that defense. And I don't think 
Danny Dimes can throw on that defense. So, and I don't think we have the receivers yet to do so. So, uh, but then again, like I said again, um, Yeah, that's a loss. That's a big fat loss. So, um, yeah. So uh, let me let me recap. Um, let me recap um, this. Uh, and if you know they continue with this, uh, we lost to the Ravens. Lost to the Bengals. Won against the Browns. Won against the Steelers. Lost against the 49ers, won against the Seahawks, won against the Bears. We went on a, a three-game winning streak, won against the Bears, won against the Seahawks. I mean, won against the Redskins. We had to buy. Uh, we lost against the Cowboys. We won against the Eagles, lost against the Eagles, won against the Cowboys, lost against the Redskins, won against the Cardinals, lost against the Bucks. And lost against the Rams. So, if my math is correct, that is, if I do a tally, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is seven losses. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Am I missing again? Okay, no man. Yeah, I did miss I did miss a game. Yeah, so um I basically basically I can see the Giants going uh eight and eight. Uh in NFL standards, that's mediocre. Uh I was watching a, a, a skip Bayless funniest moments. And then, um, what's his name? Uh, Terrell Sucks. He said that, Skip, Skip, I know you have your man crush on, on Tom Brady, but you don't have to force that on the rest of us. You know what I'm saying? And he said that, your team, he Skip say, but your team went 8-8. Eight and eight. And he said that, team. He said, yeah. Uh, Terrell, uh, Terrell Sucks said, team. He said, Skip. If your team goes eight and eight, that means you're mediocre. <laughs> you're above five hundred. <laughs> that shit was funny as fuck. But yeah, um, basically, I can see the Giants going. Eight. I can I can see the Giants finishing. Well, I can't see, but I can you know hypothetically predict the Giants going eight and eight. Uh, you know, if you have any questions on uh, on the opponents that we have, again, this is not. In, you know, in any order, uh, you know, I just wrote down L's and losses. I just wrote down W's and wins because I don't know who the Giants face week one yet. So, um, yeah, if you if you like what you saw, give that thumbs, give it a thumbs up. If you did it, give it a thumbs down. Uh, comment on what you you know you think your New York Giants record would be like this year. Uh, will it be eight and eight? You know, who knows? You know, I just did this. I just did this. I just did this off of history. Um. So yeah. Uh, if you like what you saw, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other. And I got another video coming up, so stay tuned for that.